The action happens right now on Mari. It's one of the wildest paternity shows ever. One relationship started as one relationship ended, and now one mother is not sure who her baby's father is. She thinks that Jamie's the father, but he says no way. When did he start denying this Oh, about the time he started sleeping with her? Because you laid in bed with me, right? Shut your mouth, you don't know what you're talking about. Jane does not look anything like me. Who are you trying to get? Who are you no. trying to get? And this man wants to be the father. That would be a good father to her son, Jaden. Do you want Jason to be the I father? Would love but you don't think so. Dad. I know he's not. Two men. Which man is the father? She think about pinning her son on me. We're gonna be together. Do me a favor, find you a new obsession. He didn't want to come here, did he? I had to give him two pies. I saw those coupons in a newspaper. Because I deliver. Why would she pin that baby on you? I don't know. It don't look like you me. You heard. I need the results. Anthony. Her wedding day was a complete disaster. My mom wasn't there. There was fights. The day was so bad that night, she slept with her brand new husband, best friend. I know Serenity's not dark like me, but I really do believe that she's mine. Is her husband the father? Shocking DNA results next. This is Amanda. Now, Amanda is living every mother's worst nightmare because she doesn't know if her ex-boyfriend Jason or her other ex-boyfriend Jamie is the father of her now three-year-old adorable son, Jaden. Look how cute he is. You see, around the time Amanda got pregnant, she was ending her relationship with Jason and just beginning a new life with Jamie. So, you admit that you were with both at the same time. Right, Jason and I were just getting out of an eight-year relationship. Long, really in fact, long. you we have, a, we have a 10-year-old son together, yep. Yeah? And um, Jamie and I just kind of went right into, right into a relationship and you know, I, we, it, you know, we did, we got along great. It was a good, it was a good relationship, but it was, it was right. Why is he going like this? He's shaking his head backstage. He's afraid to admit it. Oh, he's, is that? Uh, you know, he's got four kids with four different women. I guess I would be, I guess I'd be a little butt hurt too, coming on national television looking like a fool. You know, Jamie has a girlfriend named Stacy. You know yeah. that? Yeah. Stacy's oh, here. She is, huh? Yeah, what, what, does she, what does she need to be here for? We have tried to be in Jaden's life. You've done we what? haven't seen when? him in two years, when? Amanda. It's been we three tried years. To, no, Stacey, you have been saying. there. Who are you? No, you we, don't know. We've seen him till he was 12 months old, Bo Amanda. Lori. We did too. You I have his clothes at my house still. You are. You don't even know. Now let me get this straight. You were going with Jason, you broke up with Jason, you were, right when you were breaking up with Jason, you were with Jamie, but Jamie was there until the baby was how old? Jamie was there until the baby was two months old. He drove me to the hospital when my water broke. He signed the birth certificate. Amanda, I, I started dating Jamie when he was Is this show about when you? Jaden was Why seven you months here? old. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about, Amanda. Stay up. No, no. So now we know that it's Jamie who brought everybody here. Yep. Okay. I called the show. You did. Imagine yeah. that. Imagine that. You called the show. Do Jamie and Because ja you laid in bed with me, right? You called the show. So you want Jason to be I the father? I love Jason. But you don't think so. That. I know he does. Okay, we spoke to Jason before the show. This is what they had to say. My name is Jason, and I could be the father of Amanda's son, Jaden. My name is Jamie, and I do not think that Amanda's son, Jaden, is mine. 
I was with Amanda for eight and a half years, and we have a 10-year-old son together. And I would be a good father to her son, Jaden. I was with Amanda for over a year, and she cheated on me with Jason. So I think he is the father of Jaden. Jaden looks exactly like Jamie. He has all his features. I have strong genes, and Jaden does not look anything like me. Jaden looks just like Jason, and Amanda knows it. And that's why she had him tested, too. I love the family that I have with Amanda. And if I am the father, I would welcome Jaden into my family. I have no connection with Jaden at all. I haven't seen him in over a year because Amanda's kept him away from me. If I was a father, she would want me around and not push me away. All right, we're going to meet Jason in a few minutes, but here's Jamie, who Amanda doesn't really like. OK, here's Jamie. <laughs> I'll talk never been there. He ain't no. never been there. Jamie. He wants to walk out here Always like he's some kind there. of man. Always. The only child you take care of is the one you're with. You don't no. take care of no. 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 Don't even say Jamie's not there with other kids, because he is Amanda. He you may, be, he may be good with your kid, but wait till you leave him too. Because I'm not gonna leave happen. him. I have a ring yeah. on my finger. Good right for here. you. Good for you. All the time. I was there from time number one in the hospital. Well, then but he why, don't think why, he's the dad. Why are you doubting that you're the father? Because she cheated on me. You think that child looks like you? You're the one who, who brought everybody you know, to the show. Me and Jason, Jane looks a lot kind of like both of us. Really? And Take a look at that note. I don't, Take I, a look I don't at the see note. it. I don't. Okay. <laughs> Y'all want a drama, you're getting it. Here is Jason. Let's welcome Jason. Now here's the deal. You all have a child together. He's a good father. He's a wonderful father. And I know. No. How can you be a wonderful dad to a child you don't believe is yours and you don't see? Who do you think the father is of this child? I think it was Jamie, uh, but there's just a possibility that could be mine. Jamie, if you are proved to be the father, ain't you gonna get... be no happy ending, and you go back in the green room and hug and kiss I him. I will be there for him. I will. No, I will be there for him. I'm paying child support for him right now. Twenty-three dollars a week. Oh yeah. Really? Right. Well, I have a ten. We have a ten-year-old together, and I love my kid anyway. with everything. So that's his little brother. So there'd be no difference. And do you see, do you see Jaden a lot? Oh, all the time. Yeah. 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 And what does he think, weird, Amanda? What is he you tell to me, you Amanda. Oh, you, yeah, tell, you, you tell me. You tell me. You tell me. Jason, don't. I only let Jason see his kid. When did I tell you that? <laughs> Just the other day. No. no. Oh. Jamie, well, we're gonna find out. When it comes to three-year-old Jaden, Jason, you are not the father. And when it comes to three-year-old Jaden, Jamie, you are the father. Amanda's right this way. Your child, this child is three years old. Yeah. I'm not gonna this go is not like an up. infant. No. And it may take time, little little steps, for you to get into his life. Maybe this is not the time. This is not the time for you all of a sudden to jump in. I think the child needs some preparation. And Amanda, it's his father. I don't care. It was his father three years ago too. Well, guess what? Well, then, what? Three years ago, we don't get along. Well, I don't know what, what the hell there's a lot of history here, and it's got to be worked out. We'll be back right after this. Thank you.
Thank you, Jim. Can we just talk nope. without screaming and yelling? I don't really care to. Can we try? Just have some calm. Can we try? Down the road, like you're gonna work, you know. If I know that I can trust that he's not gonna sit and badmouth me, and or his girlfriend's not gonna sit and badmouth me, this was my son. I have been there for this child, not Jamie, not ever. Little by little, as long as it don't take longer than a year, I want to no, see him it'll like take within uh, six months long or something. She think by putting her son on me, we're going to be together. Do me a favor, find you a new obsession. He didn't want to come here, did he? I had to give him you, Pop. <laughs> never saw those coupons in a newspaper. Because I deliver. <laughs> Why would she pin that baby on you? I don't know. It don't look like you. You are. I need to resolve. Anthony. <laughs>
I know Baby, what I love. You know something? I never, bring him out, I never saw bring those coupons out. in a newspaper. You, you ain't seen no coupons in the newspaper because I deliver them. <laughs> like, no, no. I, personally, personally. All right. Yeah. I can't wait to meet Anthony. Here he is, Anthony. have his space here. Anthony, what do you think of all this? I'm glad to be. I want these results. Oh, is that all you want? We're going to get them. We're going to get them. I'm a million percent show. You my baby. Oh. Daddy. Why would she pin that baby on you? I don't know. It don't look like you me. Ain't that baby don't look like me. That baby look like me. No, 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 that's not my baby, man. Where did you get that? One time. That's, that's not me. You well, can't treat me right. I need the results. I know we that's all need the results. You nasty. I need the results. I'm not even staked for that. I need the results. I need the results. You want to stand out when I put my thumb? This is your child. This child's almost four years old. I know. You're going to get in that child's life if it's yeah. your child. No, but he it's can't not got no mine. Job. It's huh? not mine. No job. We're going to do it right it. now. It's a three-year-old Desmond. Anthony, you are the father. <laughs> Did Anthony step up as a father? You won't believe this update. Her wedding day was a complete disaster. My mom wasn't there. There was fights. The day was so bad that night, she slept with her brand new husband's best friend. I know Serenity's not dark like me, but I really do believe that she's mine. He wants to be the father of this child. <laughs> he loves her. Two former best friends. You shouldn't have stepped past that boundary. You shouldn't have tried to turn a hole into a housewife. Is her husband the father? <laughs> it's one of the wildest paternity shows ever. Everybody, this is Michelle. <laughs> Michelle's gone through a lot. <laughs> you see, I want to show you a, uh, a wedding picture of uh, Michelle and her husband, Jamaric. Now, this should have been the happiest day of their lives. But instead of being blissful, both Michelle and Jamaric agree their wedding day was a complete disaster. So much so, it has brought them to our show in need of a paternity test. Now, listen, everybody, to this story. You won't believe it. When Michelle and her husband, Jamaric, got married one year ago, what should have been the happiest day of their lives quickly turned into a wedding day disaster. We were fighting so much. Our wedding day was a disaster. Their doomed wedding day soon led to an argument between these newlyweds that would nearly destroy their relationship. It felt like it was a sign that we shouldn't have gotten married because everything went wrong. I left and saw so his best friend, Chris. The honeymoon was definitely over for these two when Michelle then discovered she was pregnant. I was scared to death because I didn't know if it belonged to my husband or his best friend. 
Michelle's fears were not eased once the baby was born. Oh, I stop because she looks white. Every day, my husband looks at her like he's just waiting for her to get darker. I don't want to lose my family. I'm so sorry. What's the problem when we look at that screen, Michelle? She's white. My husband's black. Your husband told our producers that he keeps waiting for the baby to change. He does. He looks at her fingers every day and just says they're going to get darker tomorrow. I swear they are. <laughs> he wants to be the father of this child. He loves her. Chris, this ex-best friend, <coughs> and Jameric coming to the wedding together. Then there was all kinds of things going on. People were late. They were late. Other people were late. There was all kinds of knockdown drag outs at the My wedding. My mom wasn't there. <laughs> so when it was all over, you went home and uh, you went back to the house, I guess, with Jameric, and you all started fighting again. Yes, it just got worse. <laughs> and you said, I'm getting out of here. You slammed the door and left. Where'd you go? To Chris's house. Aww. What happened then? We slept together. And Chris really is hoping he is not the father. Watch. When me and my wife, Michelle, got married, I thought we were going to have a happy and simple life together. I never thought that her and my friend would betray me the way they have. I warned you, Merrick, about Michelle and her slutty ways, and I told him not to marry her. But he didn't listen, so I slept with her to prove a point. When Michelle became pregnant, I just wanted to put the whole betrayal behind me and be there for the baby. Michelle says I'm the father of this baby, and I know it's very light. But she is such a whore that this could be any white man's baby. I know Serenity's not dark like me, but I really do believe that she's mine. I pray every night that I'm not the father of this baby, so I'm waiting on the DNA test to prove what I already know. If the test comes back negative, I'll be hurt, but I'll still be there for her. She's my little girl regardless. Well, we're going to meet Chris later on. But Jamaric seems like a hell of a guy. Here's your husband, Jamaric. <laughs> sorry. She's in a lot of pain. I'm... How much... Can I say it's for real that you're going to stay around here with this marriage and this child if you're not the father? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think there's a possibility that you're the father of this child? Very strong possibility. Really? Her, her feet are shaped the same way as mine. Uh -huh. you know, long, slender toes, right. odd shaped at the bottom. This is not a foregone conclusion with you. you. I'm holding my position strong regardless. Even if it turns out that it's not my baby, She's going to have someone consistent in her life with God. Well, there's one other person involved here, and that's Chris. He doesn't want to be the father. Here's Chris. Chris, they look at you as the bad guy here, I guess. Yep. Would you prefer to be friends with him? Nope. No? No. Why not? You were. You were friends? Were at one point in time. We actually grew up together. Yeah. Why wouldn't you want to be a friend of his again? I don't know. He thinks I'm the bad person about the whole situation when it wasn't. It takes two. It's just as much your fault as it was mine. You shouldn't have stepped past that boundary. Well, you, 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 you should have tried to turn a hole into a housewife. Keep that to your child. I'm hoping it's not. No. You think it's Jameric's child? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no telling whose it is. If it does turn out to be see. his, there will be child support. Oh. Well, what does that have to do with you? Child support. What's that got to do with you? What's that got to do with you? Yours, you will take care of your responsibility. It just shows how stupid you are getting on stage with a white baby. Oh. It shows how stupid you are. Okay, there's only one thing left. Let's Let find out who the I want to be. In the case of three-week-old Serenity, Jameric, you are not 
<laughs> Case of three week old Serenity Chris, you are the. You should care about. Don't all you we can already share about. said we're gonna support. She got her dad. You're, you you, you're, you're, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna raise this job, huh? You're gonna raise this child. I got, I got this. I got the job. I got this. <laughs> Only reason he denied my baby because his rap face girlfriend. What she doesn't know, I slept with him last week. Yes, we did. Oh my God. Get this to your big, thick, horse head. I am not that baby father. The case of 11-month-old Jalea. It's one of the wildest paternity shows ever. This is Ashley. Now, the day Ashley found out she was pregnant, she says her boyfriend at the time, Tootie, was so happy that he burst into tears. But apparently everything changed when Ashley found out that Tootie was cheating with this woman, Ranika. My baby? Deny my baby? I know you all oh, that <laughs> she a pet. Now then. My baby? Apparently that's when Tootie abandoned Ashley and began denying her daughter, Jalea. Look at her. Ashley says, when Ranika is not around, Tootie not only tells Ashley that he wants to move in with her and be a family, but this, get this, Ashley claims they slept together last week. Yes, we did, to let you know what kind of sorry man that you got, Watch baby. This. Today, once and for all, I want to prove to my deadbeat baby daddy, Tootie, and his ugly ass girlfriend, Juanica, that he is the father of my baby, Jalea. I know the exact moment that I got pregnant. Me and Tootie was watching the BT Awards 2007, but instead of watching the TV, we were having sex. The only reason he denied my baby because his rap face girlfriend would not let him be a father. What she doesn't know, Tootie says he still wants to be with me and my baby. In fact, I slept with him last week. Today, I have taken a lot of check the test and a DNA test. When it's all said and done, I want Tootie to be a better father towards my daughter and Juanita to back the hell off. Ashley, you knew the exact moment? Of course I did. We were supposed to be watching the BET Awards. Instead, we having sex on my who was on the BET Awards with this app? Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that he was excited when you told him you were pregnant. This fool started crying. We laid in a bed. This fool started crying when I told him I was pregnant. Get your mind right. That's the truth. And you're going to look like a fool today, bro. I will get the last laugh. No. <laughs> What has he done for you, dog? This fool put her one pepper in my mailbox? One pepper? A five, five pepper? And, and he still comes on to you? He still comes on to me. So the day that we went to go take the DNA test, you weren't trying to hit on me? The night after we came back from taking the DNA test, we didn't have sex that night? No! 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 This is what Tootie and Renika had to say. What? Ashley. Get this straight. Tootie is my man and he's not your baby's father. You nothing but a lying, conniving, trashy hoe. I know you're jealous of me, but I will not let you get your hands on Tootie or our money. Ashley, you pissed off because I won't do nothing for that baby? I am not that baby father, and this is one money train that won't be coming by your house. That girl had men running in and out of her house. She told two other men that they might be the baby father. Get this to your big, thick horse head. When I find out I'm not the father of that baby, don't call me no more, don't text me no more, because I'm through with you.
Take her off. Corey, take her off. Why is it she your child? Why don't you think she might not be? Because for one, she slept with everybody in my hood. Renika, is, is she trying to pin this on your man to break you all up? To me, that's what's going on. Like I said, this girl is a liar, a compulsive liar. Talk. And she lied about everything that she By said. By the way, if this is your child, I'm going to take care of it just like I do the rest of them. That's I take way. care of five and, kids. And, and he and just went and got some money got in my pocket. I got money 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 in my pocket. Y'all hold it broke. Y'all hold it broke. If you start. This is the lie detector test. I'm about to be asked, has Tootie ever promised you that if he is the father, you would be a family? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. Hell yeah, no. Hell yeah, no. I ain't never say no. I asked you, did Tootie what? ask you if he could move in with you when you like. moved into your new apartment? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. What? We asked you, when was the last time you slept with Tootie? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you slept with Tootie last week, and that was the truth. What? This is, this is the most important thing. Case of 11 month old Jalea Tootie, after five boys, you are the father. I'm glad this is over. I'm glad that I found out the truth. He knows the truth. So there shouldn't be not one reason that he cannot come do for his daughter. And now that she knows the truth about the lie detector test, you shouldn't want to be with a man like that. Somebody don't want to even take care of your child and you stand with him? No. Four months ago, David was tragically killed in a car accident. They are both here to find out if David is the father of their three children. Did Anthony step up as a father? You won't believe this update. It's one of the wildest paternity shows ever. I want to show you a photograph of a man named David. Now, four months ago, David was tragically killed in a car accident. And on the set here, we have Rachel and Chanel. You see, Rachel here has twins, Elijah and Isaiah. <laughs> and Chanel has a daughter named Angelise. <laughs> now, right before David died, he told his sister, Julie, that he wasn't sure if he was the father of any of these children. So today, Julie is here with her father, Sylvester, and they are both praying that all of the babies are David. Here's the story. Rachel and Chanel were in love with a young man named David at the same time. David and I had such a fast connection, and it was great. When I met David, I remember the first thing I told him was that he had the most beautiful eyes. Tragically, on September 30th, 2008, David Solis was in a tragic car accident and lost his life. I remember seeing the whole accident site. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I felt an emptiness because I knew my little girl would never know her dad. But it was only after his death when the doubts of paternity emerged. David expressed to his sister, Julie, that he questioned being the father of these three children. He had told me that he had doubts about his children, and that really broke my heart. I'm ready to get to the bottom of this so that our family can move on. Chanel, you dated David first, right? Yeah. <coughs> and you got pregnant first? Yeah. Did you tell him? Yeah, he knew. And uh, did he ever see your daughter, Angelise? No, she never got to meet him. Never met. So she then was... he started dating you, right, Rachel? Yes. Okay. When he died, you were dating him still? Yes, we were living with each other. I see. Yes, and... Uh... And, and he had seen your babies? <sighs> yeah, he got to... He got to hold him. He got to kiss him before he left the house. In fact, you ran 
to the accident scene with your babies. Yes, I didn't know he was dead yet because I screamed his name. I told him, I said, David, I'm here because I was always there for him. I was always there for him and he never, he never said anything to me. He never said anything back and I knew. And when I got back in the car, my sons were just hysterically crying. But you thought they knew? I know they knew. I know they knew because my sons are the happiest babies. And you know. If I show pictures of David and all these kids, what are you going to tell me? They all look alike? No doubt. Yeah. <laughs> look at the ears. Let's meet. We hope the grandfather of these three kids and hopefully the aunt. Here are Sylvester and Julie. Here they are. Sylvester, good to see you. Nice to see you both. Now, Julie, is there doubt in your mind because there was doubt in your brother's mind? You know what? I never had a doubt, really. But you just hear rumors and it starts to mess with your mind, your heart, makes you want to start believing things that you don't want to believe. I, I don't know many people who would invite into their home two women and three kids. I love to have a baby in home with you. I'll just like it. All the prayers have been asked for. Let's find out what the answers are. Okay? To find out right now. When it comes to 11 month old Angelie Sylvester, will this family be able to stay together after the DNA tests? <laughs> you are the father. Did Anthony step up as a father? You won't believe this update. It's one of the wildest paternity shows ever. Rachel and Chanel were in love with a young man named David at the same time. Rachel and Chanel went on to get pregnant. Chanel had a daughter, Angelise. Rachel had two twin boys, Elijah and Isaiah. Tragically, on September 30th, 2008, David Solis was in a tragic car accident and lost his life. I remember seeing the whole accident site. It was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I felt an emptiness because I knew my little girl would never know her dad. But it was only after his death when the doubts of paternity emerged. David expressed to his sister, Julie, that he questioned being the father of these three children. He had told me that he had doubts about his children, and that really broke my heart. Is there doubt in your mind because there was doubt in your brother's mind? You just hear rumors and it starts to mess with your mind, your heart, it makes you want to start believing things that you don't want to believe. All the prayers have been asked for. Let's find out what the answers are. <laughs> When it comes to 11-month-old Angelie Sylvester, you are the grandmother. <laughs> when it comes to 5-month-old identical twins Elijah and Isaiah Sylvester, you are the grandmother. <laughs> Thank God. Especially with all those rumor mongers, oh, right? Yes. David Solis is my baby daddy. All right. <laughs> we got our family now. And thank y'all so much for giving us this opportunity. And more than anything else, with Julie and Sylvester, a piece of your brother and a piece of your son, three pieces. Yes. yes. In fact. Thank God. I love what joy there should be. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after that. You are the father. Did Anthony step up as a father? You won't believe this update. It's one of the wildest paternity shows ever. She thinks about pinning her son on me. We're going to be together. Do me a favor and find you a new obsession. He didn't want to come here, did he? I had to give him coupons. Why would she pin that baby on you? I don't know. It don't look like you. You heard. I need the results. 
You are the five. Oh, no, 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 no. After they went back home, did Anthony step up as a father? She says that after the show, Anthony has called her to redeem some of her special coupons. But unfortunately, she says, he has not gotten involved in the life of their son, Desmond. Emotion, conflict, results. Mari begins right now. Two women, two babies, and only one man. They don't like each other. When I was four months pregnant, I found out that she was pregnant too. I ain't no mistress. He, he left you for mistress. me. He's so much your man. I'm I thought I was the player, but both of y'all just played me. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. Is he the father of one, two, or none? Michael. Michael. Alyssa is not sure if her husband or a man she was having an affair with is her baby's father. It's like a whore and a terrible mother for what I've done. In a shocking twist, she doesn't want her husband to be the father. I'm so madly in love with Michael. I love you. It's one of the craziest DNA tests ever. Is her husband or her lover the father? Michael, Danny. This man will not marry Tiffany because he believes there's no way her child is his. I took medication that made me sterile. I have been told that I couldn't have no kids. To lie, that is your baby. Is she telling the truth or has she been hiding a huge paternity secret? Rio. Plus, Ebony had the wrong man before. Today she's testing not one, not two, but three men. I have to fix this. Stan, Charles, Mike. It's unbelievable paternity drama next. Now, I'm sitting in between these two women for a reason. They don't like each other. This is three. This is Denise. They don't exactly, you know, attend the same parties together. But there's somebody they hate worse than each other. And it's this man, Michael. You see, Michael... <laughs> Michael left Cherie when she was five months pregnant to be with Denise, who was also pregnant at the same time. <laughs> and both these women are here because Michael is denying He's the father of both of their children. <laughs> Cherie has a three-month-old daughter, Maya. Denise has a seven-month-old son, Michael. Two babies, two women, one guy. Watch. I'm Cherie, and I'm Michael's ex-girlfriend. And I'm here today to prove to Michael that he is the father of my three-month-old daughter, Maya. I am Denise, and I am Michael's girlfriend right now, and he denies my seven-month-old son, and I am so sick and tired of hearing it. He said I was cheating around the time I got pregnant. Well, he is the cheater, not me. When I was four months pregnant, I found out that Michael was cheating with Denise, and she was pregnant, too. He's been with her ever since, and I can't stand the both of them. Cherie is a stalker. She drives by my house, and she honks the horn, and she leaves bogus messages on my phone. And it's not my fault that Michael left Cherie for me. He's my man now. Denise is a home wrecker and a slut. She probably has somebody on the side, too. My relationship with Michael will be over if he don't start claiming my son today. When the test comes back to prove that Michael is the father of my child, he needs to step up, be a man, and take care of his responsibility. Now, this is some situation. Yes. First of all, you have your baby, right? When did he deny he was the father of your baby? At the hospital, Murray. He gonna tell me my daughter don't look like him. You're on the left in this picture right yes. here, right? That's your daughter? Mm-hmm. You think she looks like him? Exactly like him, from no, hairline no, down no, to no, his no, toes. No, it's no, all no. him. 
You all live together. Right, yeah. You're, you're still a couple. Yeah, and he denies my son every day. Well, why are you with him? Because I love him. He denies your child. You the mistress. How you gonna love him? I ain't no mistress. How when he, he left you for mistress. me? He I ain't told him to you, choose. bitch. I put him out. Man, get your no, story right. No, I told him to choose. If I didn't when put I him out, he'll hospital. still be at home with me, boo. No. Get your story Hell right. Hell no. Ask Hell him. no. Ask Heck no. If I ain't put him out, he'll still be no. No. Because I. When, when did he start denying your child? When I was six months. Okay, so... Because he lived with her, and he said he never seen and me, so... And you were so. picking him up around the corner. Yep, I sure was. Oh, Just sure like a slut sure you are. are. Yes, Just I like a slut you slut. are. Sure am. Buzz down. Sure am. Denise. That's why I got you, Why man. would you be with him? You got him because I threw him out, bitch. Get no, your story right. No. Why did, would you be with him if he's denying your child? Because. At least she's not with and him. And he's so much your man, I'm because. You didn't believe when it. Oh well. When was the last time? When was the about a week ago? Oh. Can we get a lie detector test? Can we get a lie detector no, test? No, 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 no. I'm not reading I'm more, the I'm more, no I'm more reason. interested right now in whether he's the father of these children. Whether right. He's take yes. care of these children. That's all that matters. Does he do anything for your daughter? No, he do not. Nothing. He a deadbeat. Does he do anything for your son? Yep. But he doesn't accept your son. It's not that he don't accept. I guess he wants to be 100% sure, but it's still wrong for him to deny my son or her daughter. What reason does he give you? Huh? What reason does he give you that he's not the father? That he don't look like him. He looks well, like Stewie let's, and... Let's take, let's take a look. Let's take a look at your son. And my, they look just think? alike. Huh? They that's, look just alike. Right look, there. just alike, right? Uh, just alike. You think that's his son? Well, guess what? I can't wait to meet Michael. Can you? Yeah. Bring him out. He's in the middle of all of it. Bring him out. This is what he had to say. What? Bring him out. Today I'm going to prove that I'm not the father of Denise's son, Michael, and Sharee's daughter, Mike. I thought I was the player, but both of y'all just played me. Sharee's baby is way too dark to be mine. I am not that baby's father. Her daughter looks like the Grinch, and I look nothing like that. Denise's baby doesn't look like me either. That isn't my child. That baby has a weird look to it. I even sing him a song sometimes. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. Cherie, Denise, when this DNA test comes back and proves that I'm not the father of both of you guys, baby, I want my name off of both of their birth certificates. How old is your son? Seven months. Seven months old. Mm -hmm. And he sings that to your son? Mm -hmm. Don't you get upset at that? Oh, yeah. I well, call him names all the time. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I am no longer the man in the middle. Michael is the man in the middle. Here we go. Michael, you're the father of her little girl. Not at all. Why? My Not baby all. looks just oh, like you. Yeah, and just like, like, look, just look, like look you. Just like you. You got a ball head. My baby look got your hair on. Look at me, man. man. Alike. How about the other one? My Is baby got big eyes like me. Look at this. Look at this little boy. Look like Stewie. Man, man, you know, look baby. Baby. How you gonna they compare my baby to a green animal? Look just alike. Yeah. She looks just like Mike, you. They got the Quitty. noses. If everything. you're the father of her daughter, what are you gonna do? I'm a man up, man. You need to. Did you have other children, right? Yeah, I got other kids. You're the father of her son. You're gonna do the same thing. Yeah. Right? yeah. Make the world go around. Are you all gonna stay together? Yep. Oh, no. Because that's his son. Because that's your son, you little crazy ass. We'll see. You, can't, you can't keep seeing both these women. I'm not seeing her. I mean, I go see you my daughter. Oh! Oh! Well, guess on. what? We're going to settle it right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right now, right now. Right now. Both of them. 
Okay, first we're going to do you, Cherie. Mm -hmm. You I'm are I'm not ready. the father. You no. are the father. When it comes to three-month-old Maya, Michael, you are, you not are the father. Oh. A seven month old named you after you. You father. are the father. Michael, you are the father. Apologize, Mikey. You, 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 okay. Now, and guess what? Can I have it too? And, and, and here's the thing. To them. And here's the thing. Those two beautiful kids are brother and sister, so right. they have to have a relationship. Right. Thank you very much. We'll be back. Have you been sleeping with her? Tell me the Not truth. Not at all. No, we ain't been sleeping together. Man, quit lying on TV. You gonna sit on TV? Get a lie detector test, cause I ain't got no reason we to on lie TV? on mine. Well, let's take the lie detector then, man. Yeah, let's I ain't get a lie detector. Alyssa's not sure if her husband or a man she was having an affair with is her baby's father. I feel like a whore and a terrible mother for what I've done. In a shocking twist, she doesn't want her husband to be the father. I'm so madly in love with Michael. I love you. It's one of the craziest DNA tests ever. Is her husband or her lover the father? Michael, Danny. <laughs> Emotions are boiling over for one reason, the results of a paternity test. Alyssa cannot forgive herself. She's done something that has just really screwed it up for her. She has caused a lot of drama, and she caused it to her husband, Danny, and also the man she was seeing after Danny, Michael. See, Alyssa is still married to Danny. But she admits, she admits to maintaining a sexual relationship with both Danny and Michael. And she has no clue who fathered her now three-month-old daughter, Liliana. Watch. My daughter, Liliana, is everything to me. And it breaks my heart that I can't tell her who her real dad is. I slept with Danny and Michael around the same time that I got pregnant with my daughter, and I can't forgive myself. I look in the mirror, I feel like a whore and a terrible mother for what I've done. Even though Danny and I are still legally married, I'm so madly in love with Michael. I'm praying that he's her father. Michael is a wonderful father. He does everything for her. He adores her. If Michael isn't only at his father, I'm scared that he'll never talk to me again. It's going to break his heart. You were married to Danny. How yes. long were you, have you been married to Danny? Three years. Three years. How long after you were married to Danny did you start seeing Michael? A year. A year. Oh. Now, let me ask you, did Michael, the boyfriend, know that you were still sleeping with your husband? No. No. So now we got an idea of things. And that's why we are here today. Yes. Because you get pregnant. Yeah. And who is the father? I don't know. Okay, before we meet Michael and Danny, this is how they felt about the situation. Alyssa was my first true love. I opened my heart to her, and she played me. When I married Alyssa, I thought we'd be together forever. I was wrong. When I found out Liliana might not be my daughter, I was devastated. It crushes me so hard because I see all the love that she has for me. I see that I'm the only one that she knows is her daddy. And I know that if I'm not, then there probably ain't gonna be another man that will step up and take care of her the way that I can. I've been hurt by Alyssa too many times and I do not want to be Liliana's father. Liliana's my world. There's nothing that I've ever done that is more important to me. First, we're going to meet the guy you want in your life, 
That's to be decided. Michael, here's Michael. You don't want to sit there. No, I'm straight. You felt, you felt that you were the father of this child. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Like, she went back, she went back and forth telling me that I was and wasn't the father. If you're the father of this child, that's what you want, right? Yeah, more than anything. Will the two of you get back together? I mean, I, I'd like to work it out, and I'd like to be able to be a family. But everything that she's shown me up until now just goes right back to prove that she, she don't want to do it with me. You and Danny stay at the hotel together last night? Anyway, him. anyway, yeah, I know you, Alyssa. I know you too well. No, you obviously don't. Whatever. I, didn't I love you. Anyway. All right. How Just you get along with Danny? You not, my... not really. Okay. Would you do me a favor then? Because he's gonna sit right there. That's straight. Okay. That's That's here's Dan. That's here's Dan. Hello. Hi, Danny. How are you? <laughs> Danny. Sorry, Maureen. What do you think of him? Michael, uh, we just don't get along too You don't well. get along. So, Michael says he was played. Were you played? Yes, I was. Like the whole time, our marriage is all played. She cheated on me. She lied to me. And, like, it broke my heart because she was my first. Okay. But, Dan Danny, this is what I want to, this is what I want to know. You don't want to be the father of that child, do no, you? No, I don't. I Why don't not? want to have no ties with her. You would prefer that Michael be the father. Yeah. You all slept in the same room together last night, right? Anything go no. on? Danny, Nothing when was on. the last time you had sex with her? It was two months ago, two, two and a half months ago. But two and a, a half couple days ago. ago, she tried to sleep with me. No, I <laughs> All right. So, so this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping... And I read this result that Michael is a father because I want the child to have a father, okay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. When it comes to three-month-old Liliana, Danny, you are not yes. the father. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. When it comes to three-month-old Liliana, Michael, you are the father. Yes. Where's my baby? You want this to be a family? I'd like to, Maury, but all she wants to do is play games. No, I don't. Well, we'll see. I don't want to talk like I mean, this around the baby. All right? All right. <laughs> I just want you to love your child, and obviously you do. We'll be back right after. Will these two be able to come together as a family? You won't believe what happened backstage. Please. Ashley says her baby's denied for one reason, his new girlfriend. What she doesn't know, I slept with him last week on my couch. Two young women at war over one man. But is he the father? Judy? Emotions are boiling over for one reason. The results of a paternity test. This is Ashley. Now, the day Ashley found out she was pregnant, she says her boyfriend at the time, Tootie, was so happy that he burst into tears. But apparently, everything changed when Ashley found out that Tootie was cheating with this woman, Ronika. My baby? Deny my baby? Now then, my baby? apparently that's when Tootie abandoned Ashley and began denying her daughter, Jalea. Oh. Look at her. <laughs> Ashley says when Ronika is not around, Tootie not only tells Ashley that he wants to move in with her and be a family, but this, get this, Ashley claims they slept together last week. Yes, we did. Watch baby. 
today, once and for all, I want to prove to my deadbeat baby daddy Tootie and his ugly ass girlfriend Juanica that he is the father of my baby Jaleel. I know the exact moment that I got pregnant. Me and Tootie was watching the BT Awards 2007, but instead of watching the TV, we were having sex. The only reason he denied my baby because his red face girlfriend would not let him be a father. What she doesn't know, Tootie says he still wants to be with me and my baby. In fact, I slept with him last week. Today, I have taken a lot of detective tests and a DNA test. When it's all said and done, I want Tootie to be a better father towards my daughter and want Nick to back the hell off. <laughs> You knew the exact moment? Of course I did. We were supposed to be watching the BET Awards. Instead, we having sex on my couch. <laughs> Who was on the BET Awards when this happened? Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and he said that he was excited when you told him you were this pregnant. Where's your dump you about? This fool put her one pepper in my mailbox? One pepper? A size five pepper? And, and he still comes on to you? He still comes on to me. So the day that we went to go take the DNA test, you weren't trying to hit on me? The night after we came back from taking the DNA test, we didn't have sex that night? No! 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 This is what Tootie and Renika had to say. What? Ashley. Get this straight. Tootie is my man and he's not your baby's father. You nothing but a lying, conniving, trashy hoe. I know you're jealous of me, but I will not let you get your hands on Tootie or our money. Ashley, you pissed off because I won't do nothing for that baby? I am not that baby's father, and this is one money train that won't be coming by your house. That girl had men running in and out of her house. She told two other men that they might be the baby father. Get this through your big, thick horse head. When I find out I'm not the father of that baby, don't call me no more, don't text me no more, because I'm through with you. Take her off. Corey, take her off. Why isn't she your child? Why don't you think she might not be? Because for one, she slept with everybody in my hood. Renika, is, is she trying to pin this on your man to break you all up? To me, that's what's going on. Like I said, this girl is a liar, a compulsive liar, talk. and she lied about everything that she said. By the way, if this is your child, I'm gonna take care of it just like I do the rest of them. That's I take care of five and, kids. And he just and for went. And he about just I ain't got no money in my pocket. I got 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 money in my pocket. Y'all hold the This is the lie detector test. You were asked, has Tootie ever promised you that if he is the father, you would be a family? You said yes. The lie detector determined you were telling the truth. Hell no. Hell no. I ain't never say no. I asked you, did Tootie what? ask you if he could move in with you when you moved into your new apartment? You said yes. The lie detector test determined you were telling the truth. What? We asked you, when was the last time you slept with Tootie? You admitted to our lie detector administrator you slept with Tootie last week, and that was the truth. This is, this is the most important thing. Case of 11-month-old Jalea. Tootie, after five boys, 
You are the father. <laughs> This is over. I'm glad that I found out the truth. He knows the truth. So there shouldn't be not one reason that he cannot come do for his daughter. And now that she knows the truth about the lie detector test, you shouldn't want to be with a man like that. Somebody don't want to even take care of your child and you stand with him? No. This man will not marry Tiffany because he believes there's no way her child is his. It took medication that made me sterile. I have been told that I couldn't have no kids. To lie, that is your baby. Is she telling the truth or has she been hiding a huge paternity secret? Rio. Oh. Three men, who's the father? Oh. Emotions are boiling over for one reason, the results of a paternity test. Tiffany has been with her fiance, Rio, for five years. And she was overjoyed when she found out she was pregnant. Sadly, ever since two and a half month old Silas was born, their wedding plans, the wedding plans have been put on hold. You see, it's all because Rio was always told by family members his entire life that he was sterile and couldn't have babies. Did you know that he had been told that? Yes. Didn't matter. And uh, I didn't believe it. It was because of medication that he had taken when he was a child, right? When he was a child, and they said that he had was tested when he was eight years old. His his family member, his family member, they spent ten thousand dollars to have him tested when he was eight. What is the doctor supposed to do with an eight-year-old? I don't even think you have sperm when you're eight. That's the only reason he doubts this? Does he think that you, ha does he have any evidence that you messed around on him or anything? Never. I would never, ever, ever cheat on any man I was ever with. I, I love him with all my heart. I have been with him for almost five years. It will be five years of March. I have been with him. I have never cheated on him. And it, it makes me so mad that one of his family members would even say that that adorable ass baby is not his. Look at him. And look at the baby. You think they look alike? Look at those eyes. That's his daddy's eyes. This what Jerio had to say, what? My family means everything to me. I've been with my fiance Tiffany for five years. Now we have a little baby. I always wanted a child. I always wanted my own to raise, and I finally have one. And the question of whether it's mine or not is tearing me apart. A family member keeps telling me that I can't have any kids because when I was younger, I took medication that made me sterile. I don't want to believe that Tiffany was cheating on me, but she did disappear for a few weeks, and I was told by other people that she was seeing someone else. I think about these doubts every single day. And I feel torn apart to not even know the truth of whether he's mine. There's no bigger fear in the world than to know whether I'm being taken for a ride or not. By the way, is he a good father? Yes. He's a good. really good father. Well, that's good. Here he is, Rio. Rio, come on out. Welcome to the show. Rio. You had to Rio. Rio. You love her? Do you love her? Very much, with all my heart. There's not anything I wouldn't do for her. I've been with her for over five years, and I love her to death. Then why are you even, why would you even, I mean, come on, think about it. You were eight. Do you even remember going to the doctors? Look at here, man. I've been with other women before, and none of them ever seemed to the get pregnant. The woman you were with was fixed. She had no uterus. She had That's nothing. That's one in woman. Her. What about the rest of them that I was with? And nobody seemed to get pregnant. Nobody it's seemed to get condoms. pregnant. I'm 32 years old. It's called real. condoms. All real. I want to do is be sure. Real, real. I want to tell you something. I was told, you know, in my, in, when I read up on you, I was told about the medication. I'm not going to uh, name it, but I, I was told about the medication you were taking. I don't know about the connection between sterility and that medication. I don't, I don't know that. I hope to God that you're right. I have been told by people who I love and trusted and been raised by 
that I've been sterile, that I couldn't have no kids. And then on the other hand, what I've been with that? her for They're five lying. years. They're lying. That's a lie. That is your baby. That is. All I know that is, if this is your child, you're going to love that child, take care I of that love child. Him now. And, and, and you're going to get married, I guess. We're going to get married. We're going to find and out. And I'm right going now. to. I'm going to. Do it, get a house, and we're gonna grow old together. I just want to know. Okay. Now, I just want to know. That's all I want to do is know. That's I the, love this that's baby. The kind to of death. That's the kind of couple I wanted a baby for 10 years now. I wanted my own father. I've had girlfriends with babies. They could not call me father because I, I wasn't the father. Why you let people your mind then? Well, nobody's going to mess with it after this if the right result and comes out. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay. When it comes to two-and-a-half-month-old Silas, Rio, you are the father. That's great. That's great, okay? Love your family. That's all it takes. Where is he? Did you go see him backstage? Daddy's here. I love you so much. This is our next president. <laughs> Ebony had the wrong man before. Today she's testing not one, not two, but three men. I have to fix this. Stan, Charles, Mike. <laughs> Emotions are boiling over for one reason. The results of a paternity test. This is Ebony. And this is Ebony's two-year-old daughter, and Yaya, right here. Aww. Here's what happened. Four months ago, Ebony's world was torn apart when a DNA test proved that the man she thought was Yaya's father was not her dad. Aww. So Ebony now believes it's this man, Stan, or this man, Charles. Or this man, Mike. Here's the story. Ebony gave birth to her daughter, Anaya, two years ago. She says she was positive who the father was until her world fell apart. Four months ago, I had to have child support put on my daughter's dad, and we had to take a DNA test. I found out this man is not her dad. Confused and ashamed, Ebony's been forced to face her past for the sake of her daughter's future. I had to start thinking who my daughter's father could be, and I remembered that it could be Charles Mike or Stan. I know one of these men is her father. I feel shamed, and I know that I have to fix this. Let me ask you this. Does your daughter ask you where her father is? Yeah, she do, because she used to seeing her daddy or having him come around. Your ex, your ex-boyfriend? Yes. So now you did what? Start thinking back? I had to, yep, yeah, after all this time. You came up with three? Yes. Do you think that whoever it is among these three, they'll be a father to your, to your daughter? Yes, I do. Have they said that to you? Yes. Okay. Before we meet them, these three met for the first time today behind this set. And I guess they had to talk to each other about one of them being the father of this child. Watch. Last night, Charles, Mike, and Stan met up for the first time and sat down to discuss the very unusual predicament they have all found themselves in. Well, I'm here today to eliminate myself from the situation. I'm 99.999% sure that she's not my daughter. I'm not positive worth a dang right now. I really don't know if she's mine or not. I want the baby to be mine. With three very strong and very different points of view, 
We wanted to know how these men felt about finding out they were the dad after two years had passed. It's between me and two, three other guys, and I'm like, what was you out there doing? I was under the understanding that it was me and maybe another guy, and then when this came about, it's like, it's me and three or four other guys, so it's really confusing now because I'm, I'm like, where are you at? You yeah, know? that's what I what, was What you doing? I kind of respected her for coming to telling me. You know, it was two or three guys. But I mean, she didn't, she didn't give me no kind of inclination or nothing about this baby. You, you had two years to find this out, you know what I'm saying? Right, you right. She needs a father. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Father. Unfortunately, I'm not the father, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do y'all think the baby look like? Think it look like you. Exactly. If the DNA test comes back and I'm the father, that means I have to start being a father. You know, I would do the same. I feel the same way. If the baby is mine or if the baby isn't mine, we form this relationship. Three men, a lot of confusion. Only the DNA test will sort it all out. So the time has come. Welcome everybody, Stan, Charles, and Mike. Here they are. Now, you know, the three of you all have individual views of all this, but the one thing that you all can agree on is if she's yours, you will bear that responsibility. Without a doubt. That's right. All right. Did any of the three of you resent it when she came to you and said you might be the father? I didn't. No? I had formed a relationship with the baby. And so, Mike, you immediately uh, said that you wanted to be the father. Yeah. Now, that doesn't disrespect the other two because, no. Charles, you said, wait a second, if it's mine, it's right, mine. Right, right, because me and Ebony have been friends regardless, you know, so if it is mine, I just regret not being there for two years. Stan? I'm, I'm just, uh... <laughs> like, I've been knowing Ebony for a long time, so when I seen her and the baby, when I seen the baby, I looked, and you know, I kind of like scanned her. I'm like, you know, that's not, she's not mine, you know what I'm saying? But I will take a DNA test. I had no problems with right. that. Just to prove that she's not mine. You all think the child favors Mike, uh, favors Mike, huh? Yeah. Or you yeah. just want it that way? Oh, no, no, I mean, no. 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 I mean, she kind of, she kind of like nose area. You know what I'm saying? I mean, right. she's a beautiful little right. girl, so she kind of like the nose. She kind of look, yeah. yeah well, first right. of all, before we read the results, and we're going to get to them now, I want to congratulate all three of you. Oh, Let's hope this story ends right here. In the case of two-year-old Anyaya, Stan, three men, who's the father? Emotions are boiling over for one reason, the results of a paternity test. When I first found out that I was pregnant, I knew who my daughter dad was. I remembered that it could be Charles, Mike, or Stan. Well, I'm here today to eliminate myself from the situation. I'm 99.999% .99 sure that she's not my daughter. I'm not positive. I really don't know if she's mine or not. I want the baby to be mine. The DNA test comes back and I'm the father. That means I have to start being a father. You know, I would do the same. I feel the same way. If the baby is mine or if the baby isn't mine. Three men, a lot of confusion. Only the DNA test will sort it all out. In the case of two-year-old Anyaya, Stan, you are not the father. In the case of two-year-old Anyaya, Charles, you are not the father. And in the case of two-year-old Anyaya, Mike, you are not the father. Ebony, Ebony, we'll continue to help you if you want us to help you. But they're, they're not the father. None of them. Thank you, dear. We'll be back. Thank you, dear.
Her lover and not her husband was the father. Will these two be able to come together as a family? You won't believe what happened backstage. Please. Emotions are boiling over for one reason. The results of a paternity test. Earlier, Alyssa came to our show because she was not sure if her husband Danny or her lover Michael was the father of her baby. Danny, you are not yes. the father. Yes. Oh Michael, you are the father. Yes. Her lover and not her husband was the father. Will these two be able to come together as a family? Please, you know you're her dad. I know, I know I'm her dad, but when I wanted to be a family, it wasn't good enough. Please. I want to I wanna make it work, but you, you're the one that don't want to make it work. I do want to make it work. I'm sorry, please. For our children's sake, I'll try one more time, Melissa. We wish them the best of luck. Until next time, America. On today's Hour of Morals, the results are having profound impact. They have two year old babies. Jerrica says James is her baby's father and not the father of this woman's baby. Are no, you friendly at all? No. No, no. Well, she too petty. Girl, you petty. Oh, too petty. Oh, this woman says James is her baby's father and not the father of Jerrica's baby. I don't think your baby mine. Really? I, you know, yeah, how you like that? How you like that? How you like that? How you like that? It's a double DNA dispute like never before. Will the results clear up all of the confusion? James, James. Or add to it. Tammy fell head over heels in love with a more mature man named Dale. But after she had the baby, he began denying it was his. That is his son, 150%. And moved back in with his mother. You don't like her? No, I don't. She's not. She you slept with two of my family members. Why don't you tell them about that? But that's right before I got with you. Will the maternity test results get him back into Tammy's life? Dale. <laughs> Plus, Bontrese's ex-boyfriend is denying her baby. Who'd you bring to the hospital with you? My cousin. Why? <laughs> because she slept with his cousin. Yeah, I had sex with her, but that doesn't make me the dad. Both cousins took DNA tests. My face is oval, cousin! I got to hear the baby got that baby here ain't good! Oh, oh, baby, 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 baby. Baby. A sizzling hour of family paternity drama starts right now. Everyone, I want to introduce you to Jerrica. Welcome Jerrica to the show. And everybody, I want to introduce to you to Haishana. Welcome Haishana to the show. They have two year-old babies with a man named James. Now, this is a situation we have never, ever, ever had on The Maury Show. Boy, that's some situation. Jerrica is here to prove that James is not the father of Shawana's baby, Dior. Hi, Shauna is here to prove that James is not the father of Jerrica's son, James III. There is one thing that is certain. Both women are 100% positive that James is the father of their kids. Watch. I'm Jerrica, and I'm here to prove to Hi, Shauna that James is the father of my son and not her daughter. James doesn't deny my son, but this stupid bitch does. My name's Hashana, and I'm absolutely positive that James is the father of my daughter, Dior. She's so worried about my child, I bet James is not even the father of her son. James and I have a 10-year history together. Hashana is jealous of me. She's the one that doesn't know who her baby daddy is. Jerrica calls my baby bald-headed, ugly. 
ugly and an Ethiopian. What kind of woman says that about a child? I cannot wait to prove to Hashana, the town whore, that I am right and she is wrong. She started this war and I'm gonna finish it. Today on The Maury Show. Wait, wait. Yes, what? All of this, that's what? Really? You're jealous of that? Yes. What? Yes. That's all gas, buddy. Yes. So good. Oh, cause you Bro, smell trim. No body. Nobody. 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 I don't have nobody. nobody. I don't have nobody. 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 Well, who? So and this three, three, three kids strong, strong baby. baby. This three kids strong, baby. Three. Three. This is, oh, no, yeah, this is baby. really working. We this is this. working really well. So obviously, you two are best friends. No, no, oh, not never. at all. Oh, at really? All. No. Are never. you friendly at all? No. No, no. We tried. That, well. that ain't work. She too petty. Girl, you 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 petty. Girl, so, in other words, Jerrica doesn't think that James is the father of Hyshana's baby. Hyshana doesn't believe James is the father of Jerrica's baby. But there is one thing. James says he is the father of Jerrica's baby. Right. Really? Right. Oh. Right. Well, that wasn't what he was texting right. me last night, and though. Get, okay, we oh, didn't say, okay. Hyshana, you know what he told my producers? What is that? He's not the father of your daughter. Well, we'll see today, Maury. How come these never text I have you? no idea, because he know better. More, he texts me every day. You just see my you baby You think they look alike? You be girl, with me. Girl, if y'all would have pulled them beans back, you would have seen that big ass five girl, head. Girl, you would have seen that big ass five Y'all ain't. 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 Y'all they have features. They don't have to look alike. They have features. Look, Maury, where? Let me show you more. Where? 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 Why are you so sure he's not the father of her daughter? Cause, Maury, she had a split uterus, Maury. She had a split uterus. The has been pregnant with two twins. Um, one of the babies was seven weeks and the other one was supposed to be nine weeks. And um, that's supposed to be James' baby that sh she has now, Dior. Why would but you in my To say everyone, I can't wait. I'm stuck in the middle of a war between two of my supposed to be baby mamas. Jerrica is denying Hashana's daughter, and Hashana is denying Jerrica's son. When it comes to Jerrica's son, I really do believe he's mine. Hashana's the one saying James looks nothing like me. When it comes to Hashana's daughter Dior, now that's a whole nother story. She was messing with one of my homeboys around the time she got pregnant. That's why we broke up. Dior really doesn't look like me. She really doesn't have any of my features. I went back and forth with these two women for way too long. I'm done, and I don't want to be with either one of them. And I don't want him to do that, I don't want him to do that. Are we sure we have the chair in the right place here? Oh, please, Maury, put him over there by this skank. No, you the skank. You the skank. Here's James, everybody. James, come on out. You the skank. How you doing, Mark? Come on, you doing? you're, you you're out of the light. You're out I'm of the light. Sure, Come I'm on sure. out here. This is something, huh? Yeah. This you got to deal with this all the time? Every day, all the time. Really? All the time. Okay. Oh, so, this is what, why won't you tell her, why won't you tell Hashana that you're not the father of Dior? Please do. Because, it, more there's so much going on. I'm talking about it's problem. Drama. Every day. 
Every day. Too much. Between these two? Yeah. It's a, that's day. a hurricane. <laughs> that's a hurricane right now. I see. So you can't stand up and say to her, I don't think I'm the father. No, no, I can't really, because it's too much problems. You just did. Yeah. I, no, you right. didn't. You said it on the screen. I don't think your baby mine. Really? I, so right. why you ain't bitch at me then? You got to split you in. Why you ain't bitch at me then? You a thought. You a fool. Sit down. Sit down. Right. Oh, but you won't see the day. But you won't see the day. Why? Why? You won't see the day, though. Why would Hyshana think that you're not the father of James the Third? Oh no. We was right. together. Was she with us when you were me? Right. I sure oh, okay. would. You think James is right. right. Yeah, she was, was though. Yeah. Okay. By the way, if you're the father of both, you'll take care of both. Right. I'm gonna do that. Okay. These two don't get along. At all. Were you seeing each other, each of them at the same time being be Yes, honest? I would. I okay. stayed with Jerrica and for I you. Him. Okay. So at least you're honest. I like that, all right? And we have the results right here. Yeah. I'm going to read them out of here because I don't want to be around any of them. When it comes to two-year-old James the Third, when it comes to two-year-old Dior, James. Will the results clear up all of the confusion? James, James. Or add to it. Von Trees' ex-boyfriend is denying her baby. That okay. baby don't look nothing like me. Nothing like, like it, nothing like, like you. Man, look at this, man, look at this. Look like at my you. cousin Keenan, man. man. Because she slept with his cousin. Who'd you bring to the hospital with you? My cousin. Why? Because they look, the baby looked like him. <laughs> Come on with me. Both cousins took DNA tests. My what face is that? oval, cousin. What? I got to hear the baby got, that baby here ain't good. What oh, you mean? My baby here ain't good. My baby here ain't good. Will this mother get the help she needs after the results come out? Razak Keenan. A sizzling hour of family paternity drama continues. Everyone, this is Von Treese. Welcome Von Treese to the show. Now, Von Treese says she fell madly in love with a man named Razak the moment she met him. But that love turned to hate when Von Treese was five months pregnant with their son, Razar. How cute is he? It was at that moment that Razak told her she was too fat. She's five months pregnant. And he dumped her. But the portrayal doesn't end there. You see, Razak also claims he's not the father of baby Razar. And says he knows who is. It's his own cousin, Keenan. Now it's an all-out family war. Watch. I am not the father of Von Treese's baby. My cousin Keenan is the dad. There's no way that child is mine. My cousin Ray Zach is the father. Von Treese lied to me about having sex with my cousin. Yeah, I had sex with her, but that doesn't make me the dad. All my babies are light-skinned. This baby's dark-skinned, just like my cousin Keenan. The baby has a big round head, just like my cousin Ray Zach. Congratulations, Keenan. Congratulations, Ray Zach. You, you are, are the, the father. father. Wow. wow. No, Ray Zach is my baby father. Ray Zach, you know you're my baby father. Keenan is not my baby father. You I'm know not that. your baby father you either. You know that. I don't even know why Keenan is here. Keenan is the... In fact, guess Kenan. what? You didn't even want Keenan to take a DNA test, no, did you? No, I didn't, because Keenan is not my baby's father. Set the record straight. Were you ever with Keenan? I was, Maury. When? I was. It was months down the line. I didn't have In other words, sex you didn't know Ray Zach. No, I didn't. You didn't even know I, him? I didn't know that they was cousins either, Maury. You didn't even know no, they were cousins? I did, I did not have okay. sex with Keenan so, around the time that so I got So, in other pregnant. words, you, you, were, you and Keenan you were you? messing with each other. We start seeing them yeah. at then all. Then you all did stopped. You? Then you met yeah, Ray Zach. We did did you? Did I bet you did. You know that's your baby. Man, my man, go with that, man. No, man, man. I don't that believe baby. that you're five months pregnant and he said to you, I'm breaking up with you because you're too fat. Yes, Maury. Yes, Maury. He's <laughs> Maury. Yes, he, he needs to step up and be a man and take care of your baby. You know what's your baby. Man, go on, man. That ain't mine, man. Take was, that so 
somewhere else. Was he now, at you the know hospital baby that is. He was at the hospital, Maury. But he did not sign my baby birth certificate. He didn't. After it, that. In fact, he like me. in fact, at the hospital, he brought his cousin. He did bring his cousin because he thinks that's yeah. my baby father. You know that's your baby. You know that's your baby. You need to step that's up. my baby, man. Up. You know my baby at all. Cut that out, man. You already know that, man. You need to step up, like I said. Crazy, man. Has he done anything for he, you? He don't do nothing, Maury. Nothing. nothing. When I tell you I got zero dollars, I didn't get nothing from him. He bought my baby a teddy bear you and think, some love. You think, do you think Razar looks like him? Maury, let me show you this, OK? <laughs> my baby looks just like him. Look at his eyes. Look at his forehead. Maury, he don't look nothing like him. He look like Bobby Brown. Come on now. <laughs> But your but your son doesn't look like Bobby no, Brown. No, he doesn't okay. look like no Bobby right. Brown. He looks right. like his dad. First, like... by the way, you all aren't together anymore, Razak. No, we not. Okay, here he is, Razak. Welcome him, everybody. <laughs> Okay. okay. Straight up. That okay. man don't look nothing like me. Nothing like, like you. Nothing like, like you. Man, look at this, man. Look that at this. Look like at my you. cousin Keenan, man. man. Look at my cousin Keenan, man. Look at that 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 man. Look And I look good. Wait a minute. She said. Let's go. Let's go. I look good. I look good. Quick plan. Quick plan. Okay. She did not tell you about him at all until five months in. I see. Five months in. And then she told you she met him, was with him before she ever knew you. Why? Two why? weeks ago. Two weeks. Two weeks before me and her got together. You lying. Two weeks. You two lying. Weeks ago. I did tell you. I did tell you once I knew that y'all. I found out y'all was cousins. You never told I me. I did tell Wait, you. When did you tell me? I told you. No, you, you I front, told man. you. Wait. Got I don't got a front for nobody. You know that's your baby. You need to stop fronting and take care of your child. How about that? You don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. You don't do nothing. Raise that. Raise that. Raise that. Raise that. Who'd you bring to the hospital with you? My cousin. Why? Because the baby looked like him. Come on with me. Yeah. Do it. Your cousin not my baby's father. How you know? Cause I know, cause I was not sleeping with him. Okay. You all get along now? You and Keenan? Yeah, that, that's my cousin today. Okay, I would never, never stop. And here he is. So I'll put the share next to you. All right, here's Keenan. Hi, Keenan. Up, By the way, Keenan. Come on now. Hey, Keenan. Yes. You're a lot taller right. than Bobby Brown, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too. You the father of that little boy? No, that baby not mine. That baby don't look nothing like me. The sure baby looks just like him. Look, look. Can, I, can I get up and show you something? Sure. Look. You see how the baby shaved head? You see how the right. baby shaved head? Look at his shaved head. Look at his baby. Look at his baby. Look at his baby. Look at his baby. That's not my baby. Put that my nose. My nose is pretty. It's bad. My face is over. Get your hair out, man. My baby, my baby, look at this shorts all the way. Dog. I got good hair. Yo, I, I got good hair. The baby got that baby hair ain't good. Hey, baby, 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 hair ain't good. Hey, Women know who babies look like. Men don't know who babies look like. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, Stop up. That you baby ain't mine. That when you By the way, it's your. You wasn't saying that. You wasn't saying that. You wasn't saying You wasn't saying that. 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 You
when it comes to two-month-old Razar, Keenan, you are not the I father. Told you I told you I When it comes to two month old Razar, Razak, you are the father. You gonna take care of your baby, right? Man, you gonna take care of your baby, right? What you mean, man? What you mean, man? That ain't got nothing. Nah, you need to do what I gotta do. Okay, then do that. I don't wanna be with you. Believe that. Okay, believe that. All right. So what they're doing it, do it, baby. Come on out, let's prove it today. Beverly is fuming with Ashley. Beverly is fuming with anger. Her 17-year-old daughter Samantha slept with Jeremy. After Samantha had a baby, he abandoned them. Baby was only two months old. And married her best friend, Stephanie. She signed the birth certificate, dude! <laughs> the tension between all four people is high. This has nothing to do with you! Beverly, sit down! And the DNA results make it skyrocket. Jeremy! <laughs> A sizzling hour of family paternity drama continues. Everyone, this is Samantha. Welcome, Samantha, to the show. And next to Samantha is her mother, Beverly. Welcome, Beverly, to the show. Now, Samantha is only 17 years old. When she was 15, she got pregnant with her daughter, Sophia. Look at her. But soon after the baby was born, Samantha was betrayed by the two people closest to her. First, she was abandoned by the father of her baby, Jeremy. And then, Jeremy started dating her best friend, Stephanie. Now... Now, for the record, Jeremy and Stephanie are now married. And they both deny baby Sophia what? Samantha cheated on me throughout our entire relationship. Her daughter Sophia is not mine. Samantha is a result of bad parenting. It all comes down to basic genetics. Only 2% of the world has my husband's green eyes. That baby is not in that 2%. I think Samantha and her crazy mother planned to get her pregnant and pin that baby on me. There are gold diggers just trying to get my money. Samantha's mother, Bev, is a dumb bitch who needs to put a leash on her dog. It's not me and Jeremy's fault that Sam doesn't know who Sophia's dad is. She should have thought that before she had sex with the entire neighborhood. Wow. He was in my home for four years, and they slept together. I him and supported his ass. She's not part of this. She's a skank and doesn't know how to stay out of anything. Are you mad at her because you were friendly with her before? Do you think? We were the best of friends when my when I was a freshman. I we're loved her dearly. He came to the baby shower. Stephanie said it can't possibly be his baby because of two things. First of all, She's a She's a moron. the baby's eyes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Calm down. 
You were there through the pregnancy. Yes, I you was. You signed the birth certificate. Yes, I did. And then two months into this little girl's life, you left. It was actually six months later. And yes, I no, did. No, These are the two people who made the baby, and you're the two people who had nothing to do with it. Oh, boy. Let me... Let's get real! Let's get real! All right. Let me talk to the only man who has some skin in this game, okay? Jeremy, if you're the father, you'll be in this child's life. If I'm the father, if she'll let me have that right instead of telling me to sign over my rights like she's been asking me to do oh ever God, since the I start, told you, I see you messages all the time. You know all you do is try to see you her. Right. You do. <laughs> We're going to settle everything right now. Are you yeah. ready for this? Yeah. When it comes to one-year-old Sophia, Jeremy, you are the father. Yeah. You know what, your mom would My mom listen. didn't like the way you treated me. No, I didn't like the way you treated me. You can't go no, see your daughter, and I don't care what it is. You had to see on your mother's her. back to see us. All we met you three times. You guys, I brought you back. Mother, you had to see on your mother's back. For all she wanted me to do is sign over my rights. So, like, you do this. You were going to leave your granddaughter with her anyway. You want to. Tammy fell head over heels in love with a more mature man named Dale. But after she had the baby, he began denying it was his. That is his son, 150%. And moved back in with his mother. You don't like her? No, I don't. She's not. You slept with two of my family members. Why don't you tell them about that? But that's right before I got with you. Will the maternity test results get him back into Tammy's life? Dale. <laughs> A sizzling hour of family paternity drama continues. Everyone, this is Tammy. Welcome, Tammy, to the show. Thank you very much. Now, when Tammy was in high school, she met her first true love, Dale. Months later, yeah, he was much older. That's true. Months later, Tammy and Dale found out they were expecting their now two-year-old son, Leland. How cute is he? Now, Tammy says, one person is responsible for destroying her and Dale's happiness. Dale's mother, Kathy. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch. You see, Dale admits, he oh, admits he's a mama's boy. Yes, he is. And Tammy says that Dale's mother has filled his head with lies and suspicions. <laughs> so both Dale and his mother, Kathy are denying baby Leland. Watch. Tammy is a two-bit hoe. She's trying to trap my son, and it ain't going to happen. Tammy was pudgy when I met her. She was already pregnant. There's no way I'm the dad. 
The only baby I'm worried about is my baby, and that is Dale. I'm not going to spend no money on a stranger's baby. I'm spending it on my mom. Look at my beautiful baby. That little witch's baby looks nothing like us. If this ain't my baby, no one's telling me to take my name off the birth certificate and lose my name and number. Let me tell you something, Tammy. You messed with the wrong mother. So, why would she turn him against you? She does it with every mo woman he's with. Oh. He's got his head so far up her ass, <laughs> he can't even fight. Oh. He cannot fight his yes. ass. Come on, on, but time. he's an older guy. You would think that he would be, you know, split from his mother. Exactly. That's where, what I'm saying. Where does he live? His mother. He lives with his mother. He lives with his mother and gives all his cash to her. Was there ever a time he was excited about being a yeah, father? Yeah, when I was pregnant, when we lived in Uniontown together and we had our own apartment. And wait a second. And then he said, you're too heavy to be <laughs> pregnant by me. You were pregnant before. Yeah. But guess what? What? When I did the math of when I got pregnant, yep. the only man I'd been with is that man right there. Yeah. I never cheated on him, and I never would have cheated on him. My okay. grandson! Did she ever... Whatever, Did, did she ever... Oh. You're a bitch! You don't like her? No, I don't. You're the one that's a bitch, you no. tramp! <laughs> You think Leland looks like Dale? Does he look yes, like? Yes, he does. Really? He's got the eyes. No. He's got the eyes. He's got the mouth, the lips, all of it. That is his son, 150 percent. 150 percent. You think they look alike? Yes, I do. So I'm sure he's been a good father, right? No. Why not? He hasn't been there. Not at all? He'll talk to his son behind his mother's back. He talks to him. Oh, she doesn't he'll know that? He'll talk to me. And he'll... Behind his mother's back? Exactly. Really? He sits there and he says he's his son. He's his son. He's his son. To me. And then when it comes to his mother, that ain't my son. Just like you said, that ain't my son. He spends his money on his mother. Yeah. You know, you know what he said? Yeah. Does he, does he send any money? You don't know what's going on does in here. Does he you send any money to leave? He don't send him Christmas gifts, birthday cards, nothing. Nothing. Well, guess what? Maybe it's time to meet Dale and his mother, Kathy. Okay, here we go. Okay, Dale, that child look like you. No. Kathy. Yeah, he does. Oh, yes, blue, he does. Not gray. Uh, them are blue eyes. Yeah. You slept with two of my family members. Why don't you tell them about that? But that's right before I got with you. Now, you was seeing the two family members while you was with him, plus your ex. Kathy, Kathy, uh -huh. why don't you uh -huh. like her, Kathy? She is nothing but trouble. By the way, I am sure, because you are loving people, that if this is your child, Dale, you and your mother will be in this child's life. Damn right. She nope. does not want me in nope. the child's life. Nope. Well, we're going to answer all of that can't. right now. How's you that? You can't. You can't. Hundred and fifty percent. Yes, sir. When it comes to two-year-old Leal and Dale, will the paternity test results get him back into Tammy's life? Dale. <laughs> Jerrica says James is her baby's father and not the father of this woman's baby. But this woman says James is her baby's father and not the father of Jerrica's baby. I don't think your baby mine. Really? I, you know, I, you know, yes, no. It's a double DNA dispute like never before. Will the results clear up all of the confusion? James, James. A sizzling hour of family paternity drama continues. Tammy is a two-bit hoe, 
She's trying to trap my son, and it ain't going to happen. Tammy was pudgy when I met her. She was already pregnant. There's no way I'm the dad. That new witch's baby looks nothing like us. Let me tell you something, Tammy. You messed with the wrong mother. He's got his head so far up her ass. <laughs> he can't even fight. Dylan looks like Dale. He's got the eyes. He's got the mouth. The lips. All of it. That is his son. 150 percent. That child looked like you. No. You slept with two of my family members. Why don't you tell them about that? Well, we're going to answer all of that can't. right now. How's you that? You can't. You can't. You can't, you can't. 150%. Yes, sir. When it comes to two year old Leal and Dale, you are the father. <laughs> Grandson. That's your grandson. That's your grandson. Okay. I want to see my son then. You can't backstage. That you is can your see son. Your son. Okay. Backstage. I That's told fine. you. Jerrica says James is her baby's father and not the father of this woman's baby. Are no. you friendly at all? No, no, no. But this woman says James is her baby's father and not the father of Jerrica's baby. I don't think your baby mine. Really? I, you know, I, you know, it's a double DNA dispute like never before. Will the results clear up all of the confusion? James, James. Or add to it. A sizzling hour of family paternity drama continues. I'm Jennifer, and I'm here to prove to Hashana that James is the father of my son and not her daughter. My name's Hashana, and I'm absolutely positive that James is the father of my daughter, Dior. I bet James is not even the father of her son. I cannot wait to prove to Hashana, the town whore, that I am right and she is wrong. She started this war. And I'm gonna finish it. Get three kids. Oh, baby, baby, I'm stuck in the middle of a war between two of my supposed to be baby mamas. When it comes to Jerrica's son, I really do believe he's mine. When it comes to Hashana's daughter Dior, now that's a whole nother story. Dior really doesn't look like me. You a thought? You a hey, Sit down. Sit down. Right. Oh, 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 but you oh, see the we have the results right. Yeah. I'm going to read them out here because I don't want to be around any of them. <laughs> when it comes to two-year-old James the Third, James, you are the father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't need When it comes to two-year-old Dior, James, you are the father. Step up for two year old Leland. She was cheating on my son the whole time. Find out what happens after the show next. A sizzling hour of family paternity drama continues. Earlier in the show, he admits he's a mama's boy. Dale and his mother Kathy both denied Tammy's son Leland was his. That child looked like you. No. My eyes are blue, yes, not gray. Them are blue eyes. Yeah. You slept with two of my family members. Why don't you tell them about that? You are a Kathy, the DNA results prove Dale was the father. I told you. 
Executive producer Paul Fallhaber met with everyone after the show. Do you have anything you want to say to her? Nope. No? I just don't figure out, I can't figure out why she slept with two of my family members before she got with me. She was cheating on my son the whole time. Did you see it with your own eyes? Kathy and Dale had a tough time letting go of their past issues with Tammy. Let's look at the bigger picture here. That child is yours. Do you have any other sons? I got two daughters. You have two daughters, and now you have a son. Are you going to be a father to that boy? Yeah. He's right here. Do you want to see him? Yep. Buddy. Go see him. <laughs> he does not know you. <laughs> I've tried to make sure he knew you. He doesn't know him. And you know what? That's natural because you haven't been around. You got to give him time, obviously, because he doesn't know you. Do you feel bad? You yeah. Feel, you feel bad, right? It's all right. The more he said, you are the father. Be a father, be a daddy. I'm going to. Dale had a heartwarming reunion with his son, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm right here, baby. Mama's not going nowhere. I want to thank all of my guests for appearing today. I want to thank everybody who watches The Mari Show every day. I want to thank my live studio audience. You are the heart of the show. Thank you. Until next time, America. Thank you. Thank you very much. up all over the country. It's a Mari snow day. <laughs> when it's this cold outside, no! No! you need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter updates. We're bringing these guests back to find out what's happened since the results came out. Candace came to the show furious that a 32-year-old woman named Christina was in a sexual relationship with her son, Daniel, who's 16 years old. Makes me want to just buy it! And on top of that, Christina was claiming she was pregnant with Daniel's baby. Is she pregnant with this 16-year-old boy's baby or not? Today, everyone's back because our cameras followed this unbelievable couple to the doctor's office. I'm be okay. <laughs> And Daniel's mother is going to hear the shocking pregnancy results today. What? I told you! Daddy, come with me! Six women claim this teen is the father of their baby. You are the father. He's back. Eight years ago, Melissa was suffering from eating disorders that left her weighing only 60 pounds. I want to get better more than anything, but I just... Melissa's coming back to the show today, and you won't believe what she looks like now. In our studio, it's a blizzard of emotion. <laughs> Not. They're wild, they're shocking, and they're back. Why? Winter updates. Yes. You won't believe who's back. Everyone, it's been a record-breaking winter. The entire country is buried in snow. So, what do you do when you're snowed in? Well, you grab some cookies and some hot chocolate. You turn on the Maury Show to see what's happened to some of our wildest guests. So, let's get started. Now, kicking off the snow show is a heartbroken mother named Candace. See, Candace was upset because her 16-year-old son, Daniel, dropped out of eighth grade in order to date a 32-year-old woman named Christina. <laughs> And to add insult to injury, Christina was claiming she was pregnant by the 16-year-old Daniel. My 16-year-old son is dating a 32-year-old lying, cheating slut. And the thought of it makes me want to vomit. 
Christine is trying to tell me she's pregnant by my son. I don't believe it for one minute. You are only four years older than his girlfriend. Yes. Yeah. Wasn't your son dating her daughter at one point? That's how they met, Maury. Then she says she's pregnant. That's a total lie. Maury, look at this. You can turn it. Oh, it's just gross, disgusting. Makes me want to just vomit every time I see it. So it was time to meet Daniel and Christina and hear what they had to say. I don't care what my mother thinks. Christina might be 32. But she is really hot. Daniel may only be 16, but he's a freak in the bedroom, and he loves it when I call him daddy. People could judge me for dating a 16-year-old, but I don't care. He finished the eighth grade, and he has a good job. I'm pregnant right now with Daniel's baby. We are going to get married. We are going to have a happy family, regardless of what his mother has to say. Just kidding. Christina, are you sure you're pregnant? Positive. You liar. Wow. I mean, Candace did not believe the results of the pregnancy test, but Christina was still claiming she was pregnant. So today they're back, and we sent Christina to the doctor to find out the truth. And in doing that, a secret emerged that was going to be revealed later in the show. So stay with us. Now. <laughs> if that's not wild enough, next up is a mother named Luanza. Now, Luanza came here desperate to save her son, Amos. You see, at 17, Luanza's son, Amos, had six different women claiming they had babies by him. Six. So we tested three of the women. Two of them were here, Misha and Coco. First, we heard from Luanza and Amy. My son is 17 years old, and he got at least six women claiming to have his baby. All these hoes can go to hell. The only reason why they want a baby by me is because my swag is on point and I look good. How do you think about that? I don't think about it because they're liars. They're all liars. They, they want my baby. They always, you know they're going to stick no six kids on my baby, especially her. She's a slut. What about her? What happens if they end up being your grandchildren? No, they're not going to be my grandchildren. Amos and his mother need to stop acting childish and be there for my son. His mother should be ashamed of herself for letting him act this way. What? He ain't the daddy. He ain't the daddy. He ain't the daddy. He ain't the daddy. Coco, you know what Amos said? That he's too young to be the father. I'm 16. And he is. I'm 16. Close your legs. My son got a future. And it ain't that you are you. So. It was time to meet 17-year-old Amos and hear all three of the DNA results. You think you're the father of any of these kids? No. But why are they doing this? Look at me. Look at me, Look at me, baby. Look at me. You wear a condom when you have sex? Yeah. No. No. Yes, he no. They put holes in the condom, Maury. I know. I know. When it comes to the baby who is not here, you are the father. No. In the case no. of one-year-old Naraya, Amos, you are the father. In the case of nine-month-old Elijah, you are not the father. We'll take two out of six. But long as it ain't two. Two out of six ain't bad. Two out of six ain't bad? So did Amos and Luanza step up with the two that were proven to be his? Take a look. Hi, Maury. I was 100% sure that Amos was going to be proven not the father of any of those three kids. But I was wrong. I know it's not going to be easy taking care of two children at the age of 17, but I'm going to have to step up and take care of my responsibilities. I'm determined to find out how many children he really has. So, Maury, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye. Now, a few months ago, we met a furious woman named Catherine and her best friend, Angelica. And they both found out they were pregnant at the same time, 
by the same guy, 19-year-old Escardo. Now, the problem is Escardo was denying both of their children. Why? These kids are two weeks apart. Yes, two weeks! Yes. That means he was, was having sex with me and her at the same time. Did he come to the hospital, Catherine? No, for your Catherine was with me when I had my kids. Oh, when you told Escardo you were pregnant, what did he say? Well, he thought I was trying to get him back. And Angelica, what did he say? He said that I was just a one-night stand. 2019 years old, and despite what these crazy bitches are saying, I got no kids. Why don't you think they're your kids? They ain't nope. nothing but sluts, Maury. I ain't, I ain't gonna have no kids. You don't think you look like them? Look at them. Man, they got brown hair growing up. Look how many people got brown hair. When it comes to two year old Alicia, you are not. When it comes to two year old Manuel, you are not. Wow. We spoke to both women. And they both say they're looking for their baby's father, so stay tuned for a future show. Now. <laughs> guess what? With all this snow and cold days outside, we're just getting started. We're snowed in. We'll be back with more after this. Is she pregnant with this 16-year-old boy's baby or not? Today, everyone's back because our cameras followed this unbelievable couple to the doctor's office. Should be okay. And Daniel's mother is going to hear the shocking pregnancy results today. What? I told you! It's Amari Snow Day. When it's this cold outside... No. Yeah. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter updates. It's Amari Snow Day. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter updates. to roast some marshmallows on the fire today. It's a snow day, and while some people are having fun in the snow, you know, we're warming things up by updating you on some of our hottest guests of the season. Next up is Lauren. Now, you see, Lauren came here to prove to her ex-boyfriend, Kevin, who she was still madly in love with, that he was the father of her son, Caleb. Now, the reason Kevin denied Caleb, you see, Kevin claimed that Lauren slept with his own brother, David. Wow. He accuses you of sleeping with his brother and that he's the father. Let's be for real. Right. When would I have the time to mess with him and then his brother? He was the love of my life. We was together for two years. We planned to have a baby. That's how you get mad, Lauren. Yeah. You know what I'm Lauren told me she slept with my brother, David. I'd rather him be the father than me with the reputation like yours. There's no telling who the baby's father is, but it sure ain't me. You think she's cuckoo. Exactly. Uh, really? You get married? Really? You're doing nothing really? about that. You said my brother. Wait a second. Right. Come on. That, by the way, by brother. the way. She will do anything and everything she possibly yeah. can just All to right. see me. So. Lauren took a lie detector test. Kevin and David took DNA tests, and it was time to meet David and hear the results of both tests. Are you the father of this child? No, Marley, I ain't the father of this baby. I don't think that's neither one of our babies, oh. man. You wasn't there when me and him was. Oh, Lauren, you always be so I ain't never seen something like that. David, you are not. Oh, thank you. Kevin, you are. Are the father. Oh, run, Kevin, you knew it was gonna be true. No, you I didn't knew know he was your baby. No. During your relationship with Kevin, have you had any sexual contact with his brother David? No. You said no. You're telling the truth. Do I get an apology? Stand up. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh. So we spoke to Lauren and Kevin after the show, and although they're not back together. He's taking care of the baby, and they're trying to work things out.
We want to update you on a story that was truly shocking. It involved a woman named Donna who came here to reveal a secret to her husband, Tony, and her daughter, Brittany. Now, this secret was so outrageous, she feared she'd lose them both forever. How long have you been keeping a secret from them? About six months now. How would you describe your relationship with your husband? Great. I love my husband with all my heart. And how would you describe your relationship with your daughter, Brittany? She's my best friend. Except you have a problem with Brittany's lifestyle, right? She's a lesbian. I've always told her, you know, that's wrong. But your secret has two parts. Yes. What's the first part? <laughs> the first part is I cheated on my husband. What's the second part? <laughs> I cheated on my husband with my daughter's girlfriend. It's been happening for about six months now. Who do you want to be with? My husband. I love my husband. That's a first. Here, it was time to meet Donna's husband, Tony, and her daughter, Brittany, and here's how it all unfolded. Donna, why don't you turn to your husband and your daughter and tell them why you brought them here? Brittany, I've been cheating on your stepdad with your girlfriend, Aisha. Oh, I'm sorry! Get off me! What's wrong with you? I'm that nasty. I ought to take my foot and just break it right off. Aisha wanted you all to hear something. There's a secret of my own that I want to reveal. I'm in love with Donna, and today I'm hoping that she will leave her husband and come home with me. This is some disruption that you've caused. I love her. You yeah. love my mom, but you say you love me. Please forgive me. It's gonna take a while. I love you, Brittany. It's gonna take a lot out of me to trust you again. So, would Donna be forgiven? Here's the update. Maury, my biggest fear about revealing my secrets to my husband, Tony, and my daughter, Brittany, was that they wouldn't find it in their hearts to forgive me. But Brittany and I have forgiven Donna and are trying to move forward. As far as me and Aisha, our relationship was done with the minute I found out what she had did to me. I'm in a new relationship. I'm with a man. I promise to always stay faithful to my husband, Tony, and never sleep with my daughter's girlfriend or boyfriend ever again. Bye, Bye Maury. How about that? Next up. We have Kathy and Tammy, two virtual strangers who came here united against one man, Derek. Kathy and Tammy claimed that Derek had a twisted habit of impregnating heavy set women with low self esteem <laughs> and then walking away. Now, Derek admitted to already having, catch this, 27 children. <laughs> One man, 27 children, and after today, Derek may have two more kids, putting this father's total to a record-setting 29 kids. Derek's main goal in life is to get low self-esteem women pregnant and then hit the road. This man needs to be castrated. He show up at the birth? He was never there. Is My he... son don't even know who he is, just knows his name. You didn't have a long-term relationship with no Derek, more, right? No, did not. Yeah, I have kids. I have them in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Florida, and Texas. But these two, from Kathy and Tammy, I'm not him. These kids are not mine. No, Tammy, they're no, not they're mine. Do you know the names of your children? Most of them, yes, Maury. <laughs> In the case of five-month-old Tristan, Derek, you are the five. Okay, <laughs> In the case of four-year-old Terrell, Derek, you are not. So, Derek left with 28 kids. So, how is he handling his new responsibilities? Take a look. Maury, I was shocked when I found out the DNA test proved that Tristan, Tammy's son, was my 28th child. I know I don't see him as much as I would like to, but that's because we live in two different cities. Don't leave now, everybody. We're just getting warmed up. We'll be back right after this. It's a Maury snow day. When it's this cold outside. What? I 
told you! You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter update. Eight years ago, Melissa was suffering from eating disorders that left her weighing only 60 pounds. I want to get better more than anything, but I just... I can't. Melissa's coming back to the show today, and you won't believe what she looks like now. It's Amari Snow Day. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter updates. You know, over the years, we, we've met hundreds of out-of-control teen girls. But 14-year-old Adriana truly frightened us all because her mother, April, came to the show because Adriana admitted to prostituting with men as old as 70 years old. Oh. And Adriana was proud of the fact she had slept with over 200 men. Why? I don't know what to do anymore. My 14-year-old daughter is prostituting her body on the street for anything, $20, a candy bar, cheeseburgers. She even told me she had sex with a 70-year-old man for money. Four times you've been to the doctor with her. Yeah, for to check her for STDs. I've had sex with over 200 guys, but who knows? I lost count a long time ago. I slept with a 50-year-old guy, and he paid me $300. I even had sex for a hamburger one night. I've had four STD scares, three pregnancy scares, but who cares? I'm still going to make my money. Ariana, you like going to the doctor? I guess. You know why you go to the doctor? Because you're prostituting yourself. That's why you're hanging around with skanky guys. Guess what? I had an orgy with five guys. After the show, we wanted Adriana to know exactly how her wild ways could affect her life, so we enlisted the help of our conflict resolution expert, Trisha Goddard. And the results were truly emotional. Conflict resolution expert, Trisha Goddard, was going to show these young girls an up close and graphic look at people suffering from sexually transmitted diseases. Now these pictures are pretty horrible, but what they will do is when they happen, when they happen to you, you'll kind of know what they are. Trisha then sat down for an extremely emotional heart to heart with the goal of passing on a much greater sense of self-worth. I don't know you well, and I will think about you more. I don't care about you than any of those men who are losing you. And I'm sorry, sweetie, if I saw any of them, I'd take them back to them because you are too precious for them. Recently, we met a furious man named Amanda. Now, Amanda came here torn between two people she loved, her fiancé, Carnell, and her cousin, Carrie. Carrie claimed that she and Carnell slept together. Carnell completely denied the affair. Watch. Four months ago, my cousin Carrie told me that she had sex with my fiance Carnell. He says it never happened, so I don't know who or what to believe. Carrie says she slept with him. Carnell says he didn't sleep with her. But last night, Carrie brought to us some very interesting photos. <laughs> Is that inappropriate? He did cheat on you one time in the past. I found a video of him having sex in my bed, in my house. <laughs> Carrie's crazy and a liar and nothing happened between us. I made a mistake once by cheating on Amanda, but I never cheated on her with anyone since then. <laughs> Anything happened between you and Carrie? No, sir. What's that? So, it was time to meet Carrie and find out who was lying and who was telling the truth. Did you and Carnell have sex? Yes. You did? What more proof does she need than the pictures? Last night, we put Carnell in a room with a sexy decoy, and this is what happened. You can get the hell out of my house. A lie detector determined you've had sex with more than five women 50 times. Did you have sex with Carrie in Amanda's bed? You said no. You're telling the truth. What the hell? He's cheating on we me. We asked you. It don't matter. You lied to me. Put the pictures. Have you had sexual contact with Carrie? 
You said no. That was a lie. You cut the woman. Come here, man. I'm not sorry, man. Not the Keep around me, dog. At my house, while I'm burning everything down to the drawers and the socks, baby. So, did Amanda forgive her cousin Carrie? Did she forgive Carnell? We spoke to Amanda. Take a look. Mari, as you can see, there's no Carnell and no Carrie. If Carnell could cheat on me with other women in your decoy, there's no telling what he could do next. Although Carrie is my cousin, I can't forgive her for trying to break up our relationship. When we got home from the show, I kicked them out of my life for good. Like I said on the show, they could have each other. We'll be right back after this. Candace came to the show furious that a 32-year-old woman named Christina was in a sexual relationship with her son, Daniel, who's 16 years old. Makes me want to just buy it! And on top of that, Christina was claiming she was pregnant with Daniel's baby. Is she pregnant with this 16-year-old boy's baby or not? Today, everyone's back because our cameras followed this unbelievable couple to the doctor's office. be okay. And Daniel's mother is going to hear the shocking pregnancy results today. What? I told you! Got it. It's Amari Snow Day. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter updates. My 16-year-old son is dating a 32-year-old lying, cheating slut. And the thought of it makes me want to vomit. Christina's trying to tell me she's pregnant by my son. I don't believe it for one minute. I don't care what my mother thinks. Christina might be 32, but she is really hot. Daniel may only be 16, but he's a freak in the bedroom, and he loves it when I call him daddy. People could judge me for dating a 16-year-old, but I don't care. He finished the eighth grade, and he has a good job. I'm pregnant right now with Daniel's baby. We are going to get married. We are going to have a happy family. Regardless of what his mother has to say. So, the question remains Is Christina pregnant? Well, they're back. Please welcome back, everybody, Christina and Daniel. <laughs> nice to see you all. Now, 24 hours ago, we brought Christina to a hospital to really get to the truth because our cameras caught the heartbreaking moment when Christina revealed to Daniel what the doctors told her. Watch. Daniel, I just came back from the hospital. Daniel, I'm sorry. And we lost our baby. I had a miscarriage. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. And I love our baby. It's cold. Now, I, I want to tell everybody, Daniel's mother, Candace, has not heard this news, and she's secluded backstage. But you seem so sad, Christine. I am. You are. You know, there are a lot of people are glad right now. Yeah. Because they don't believe that a guy that young and a woman your age should be having a baby. Well, yep. We did what we did, and we were going to have a baby, and we're very excited for it. You're not going to try again, are you, Daniel? Probably. What? Probably. You know, your mother's going to come out here. She does not know about this. No. You ready for that? All right, everybody, here's Candace. Welcome Candace back. Hi, Candace. How are you? Good to see you. So you know what's been going on between Christina and, and Daniel. Yes. And, and, you know, the, the home pregnancy test showed that Christina was not pregnant. However, she, the doctor believes that she was pregnant because she has a certain uh, condition that doesn't allow pregnancy tests to show up that way. So what happened was we took them to the doctor yes. to have the doctor do the blood test. Do you want to know the result? Yes. Is that important to you? Yes, it is. Why is it so important? Because if she's not pregnant, my son needs to come home. Oh. <laughs> Christina, tell Candace what the results were. 
I'm not pregnant anymore. I had a miscarriage. I told you! I told you! Yeah. He's not. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, he's not. He's coming home with me. No, he's he not. He don't need to be with you no more. He needs to grow up and go to school. He wasn't going to school way before he met me. He oh, needs to home up. with Back me. Up. Daniel, you're Get out of here. Get out of her face. He's he wasn't going to school way before he met me. You all aren't going to try to have a baby, are you? Yeah. You are? What? You ain't going to stop me? Yes, I am. Daniel, why can't you have feelings for somebody your own age? Thank you, Maury. Because I have feelings for him. Obviously, it's going to take more than a Maury Snow update day to find out what's going to happen with these people. And we'll give you those results on a future show. Next up. This is a bone-chilling story involving a woman named Lisa who came here desperate to stop her husband, Larry, from controlling and abusing her. Lisa and Larry lost their three-year-old son in a house fire. Aww. Now, if that wasn't painful enough, the day of their son's funeral marked the day that Larry began choking and abusing Lisa. Watch. The night of our son's funeral, Larry choked me. And ever since then, it seems like he's been more controlling and abusive. What's he say about sex? Um, I have to do it when he wants to. You know that's marital rape? Yeah. Teach the woman is like teaching a dog. You only give the bitch what she deserves. Give me your bitch for a week and I'll have her trained too. Ah, this shit. Come on! When I go to bed at night, Maury, right. my bitch tucks me in to go to bed. So we knew Larry was controlling, but we didn't realize, really, how cruel he could actually be until we brought out Courtney. Now, Courtney was a survivor of domestic oh. abuse, and she had been shot in the face by her fiancé. Oh. Take a look. Larry's behavior was controlling, but we didn't realize how cruel he could be until we brought out Courtney, a domestic abuse victim who'd been shot in the face by her abusive ex-fiance. How the hell can he love you when he obviously doesn't love himself enough to the person that he treasures? Instead of her being shot in the face, you should have got smacked around a little bit. Does that make you feel big, strong, and powerful? I bet it makes you great in the morning, wake up. Go, So after the show, with the help of special ops investigator David Talley and Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, we brought Larry into a room to show him real crime scene photos of domestic abuse. Yeah. This started in the kitchen over food. I see you crying. I wouldn't want something like that to happen. You know what could? It could. It's all right, all right man. There was still one final stop on his terrifying journey. With the help of domestic abuse victim Courtney and professional makeup artist Jeremy Sellenfriend, we put Larry's fiance in an ambulance to play dead. If you don't change, I guarantee you, this will be the end result. I love you. You gonna change? Right now. After apologizing to his wife, there was one more person Larry wanted to tell he was sorry. I want to let you know that nobody in this world deserves what was done to you. In the bottom of my heart, deeply, I really apologize for what I said to you. I hope you accept my apology. I do. So, we spoke to Lisa and Larry. He meant what he said. He's completely turned his life around. And Lisa says he is a different man since the show. But we're going to keep you updated on their story. All right? Everybody, put another log on the fire. We'll be right back after this. Eight years ago, Melissa was suffering from eating disorders that left her weighing only 60 pounds. I want to get better more than anything, but I just... Melissa's coming back to the show today, and you won't believe what she looks like now. It's a Mari snow day. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter update. It's a Mari 
snow day, and we're warming up the cold winter weather with some of the most unbelievable updates from our most unforgettable guests. Now, everybody, I want you to take a look at this because these are the shocking photos of a woman named Melissa. At 28 years old, she was battling an eating disorder and weighed only 60 pounds. Literally on the verge of death. Watch. For the last 11 years, I've been suffering from anorexia and bulimia nervosa. When I wake up, there's part of me that is so angry that I am awake again. It's torture. I'm scared to death to eat. I want to get better more than anything, but I just... Take a look at this picture. No. Do you like that person? No. I think her thighs look extremely huge. If I gave you a mirror now, what would you see? It looks like a creature. God, I give it up. And I know part of me doesn't want to give it up. Now, just for you to know how people live this kind of life, later on in that show, Melissa took us on a 24-hour journey into her disturbing life. This is my kitchen. It used to be my favorite place in my apartment. Now it's not my favorite place. I allow myself to have a little bit of mustard on a piece of celery. I take as little piece as possible, a little bit of mustard on it. And I'm obsessed with equal. Um, I have to put it on everything. I don't know why, but I do. And put it on the celery. Mm. And so then I debate whether I should have another one or not. I almost get to the point where I can swallow it and when my voice just screams at me to spit it out. One of my favorite things in the whole world is jelly bellies. And I allow myself to have about two or three a day. Depends on what I'm feeling like. I don't eat the whole thing at once. I allow myself to have 110 calories worth of carbohydrates in the form of pumpkin. We've uh, actually been in touch with Melissa over the years, you know, trying to find out how she's progressing, whether it's getting better for her. And recently, Melissa contacted us on Facebook, and we were astounded at her update. So what do you think her update is? We are going to show you. Here she is. Welcome back, everybody. Melissa. Here's Melissa. <laughs> So how, how are we able to do this? You know, I finally just decided to get my act together. After 17 years, I said, it's time to pull your big girl panties on and get over it. So I did. <laughs> I mean, plain and simple. Plain and simple. So if I yeah. show you a picture of what it was back then when you yeah. first appeared on our show yeah. at like 60 pounds, uh -huh. do, do you think of certain things or not? It's a reminder. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a reminder that that was a place in my life that I never, ever want to go back. Right. And, yeah. And, so. and, and, you know, there are, I'm sure, tens of thousands of people who are going through this every day. Oh, yeah. What, what would you say to them? I honestly want to say that I don't think I so much did everything mm -hmm. I did for myself I think I did it for all those people out there who don't think they can. And I'm here to tell you that if you are suffering, I'm here to, you know, offer some hope, some inspiration, and to let you know it's absolutely possible to get there. It's great to see you. Great so to happy. see you too. Thank you. Thank you. We wish you all the best, Melissa. You. You're an inspiration very, to a lot of people. Very special to me because this is where I started. I know. This is where I started the whole journey. And, to, and, and to us too. it's not a happily ever after, it's a happily ever now and then some. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back after. It's Amari Snowden. When it's this cold outside, you need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter update.
it's Amari's snow day. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter updates. It's sexy, it's glamorous, it's confusing. It's the Maury Show Man or Woman Awards pageant. Breeze, come on out. That is a, definitely a woman. That's a woman? Yeah, that's a woman. Yeah, that's a woman. Later on in the show, if that ends up being a man, you're going to look yeah. silly. Oh, 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 oh. Here's Reese. That's a woman. That's a woman. She says just won an award for her amazing acting skills, but in her acceptance speech lies her true gender. <laughs> so let me go and say I'm so nervous right now, but I would like to thank Mari and the producers for this amazing opportunity. I would like to thank my family and my friends for being so supportive throughout this incredible journey. But most importantly, I would like to thank God that he made me. Be right back after this. It's Amari Snow Day. You need to stay in and warm up with our wildest winter update. So we hope you've enjoyed being with us today. Snowed in, we stayed warm, and for all of our audience members who braved the snow to join us today, we've got some warm cookies for you, okay? Thanks for being here. Until next time, America. Thank you very much. Glad you're here. By the way, a special thanks to Bill Kovitz from Ice Matters for the great ice sculptures.
Nhớ view ơi, em nhớ view ơi.